Hello guys and welcome to Executables. So today in this tutorial I'm going to show you a way through which you can continue any rendering process in any Adobe softwares like Adobe Premiere Pro, Adobe After Effects, Adobe Audition or anything like that even after turning off the PC. This method will also decrease the rendering time drastically. So let's just get started but before I start this tutorial I would suggest you that you subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that whenever I upload a tutorial you get the notification instantly. So let's get started. So let us take an example of an after effect template that I just made. So normally what we do we go to the file and go to the export and add it to the render queue so if i render like this it will take a lot of time so in order to decrease the time the only method you can use is to install the adobe media encoder this uh, official adobe software that helps to render any adobe software um, output so if you have a premiere pro project or any project that is made in adobe softwares what you can do you can just simply simply select the file and drag it into the queue and select the composition you want to export then click import and then all you'll have to do is to click on this play button but before that you can also select whatever the profile you want for your output there are lots of predefined profiles so let's just take an example of an adobe after effect project so if I simply go to the render queue, it will be extremely slow. So what we'll do, we'll go to the option for Adobe Media Encoder. This will add the project into the Media Encoder. As you can see that the composition is now inside the Adobe Media Encoder. After that, you can either select your profile or you can just simply go to the play button. This is actually an export button. After that, the exporting process will start. It may take a few moments to connect with the dynamic link server. That basically means that it is trying to find what are the compositions present in your project. So as you can see, that the project is now being exported and it is way faster than the built-in rendering queue in the After Effects. Now I'm gonna tell you how you can continue this rendering process even after turning off the PC. For that you will have to firstly pause this rendering process by clicking on this pause button over here. After that the exporting process will be paused. Now don't close this window, you will have to minimize this window. Don't even dare to close this window because if you close this even by accident then this exporting process will start again. So don't ever close this window. First minimize this window then go to the start menu then put your computer in sleep rather than shutting down or restart. This sleep option will turn off your computer and also move all your content from the RAM to the hard disk. This way nothing will ever get, get lost and whenever you will turn on your PC again it will start right from the last point. So after you turn on your PC again you can then start your rendering process just like before. So as you can see that the remaining time is about 40 minutes. If I had rendered it using the built-in rendering queue, it would easily take more than 2 hours. So this is how you can continue your rendering process even after turning off the PC. So thank you for watching. Give this video a like if you really like this video. Share with your friends and keep supporting. Thanks a lot.